mathematics is decimals. Uh, decimal is a very powerful graphing calculator. They have all kinds of stuff in there that uh, applies to algebra, geometry, even trigonometry. Um, if you could please go ahead and enter to teacherdecimals.com. It's a website. Oh, I love that. There's actually two websites that I want you to explore today. Uh, teachers.decimals.com and learn.decimals.com. That's new to me, too. Go ahead and enter to those. Take a look at it. Go ahead and have a small discussion. Oh, how do you see yourself using this in, in your classes? Is, is this applicable to you? Thank you, Kambu. It just it, it was trying to it sent me to gas and I don't know what else and finally it's like okay you can do you can do the employee website okay. Thank you, Let's search for an activity so they have activities already set up for you guys and they divide them by bundles so here's the main concept that they have they have linear exponential functions linear systems quadratic and modeling um, i was looking at the quadratic one and when you click on the quadratic you have some activities and applications like this one i think it's pretty cool this one and students can have access to it can have a preview of it. So drag the block points to create the best fit line through the blue points. You should go through the slides. But somehow this those points connect to this gentleman mm -hmm. trying to hook it to the uh, I think the basketball court. You have to just look at it very carefully and see if that applies to your to your classroom. This one is pretty long, 30 slides. Well, there's other ones related to slope. To, there was one with the marbles. Can we go back to the ones with mm -hmm. the marbles? I think that was linear. Marble slide lines. I'm looking at one for yeah. um, um, a system of two equations, and I like that it, it starts the number one. It starts with uh, says write down a pair of numbers that have a sum of twelve, mm -hmm. and so it, it looks like you submit it to a class, and then there's several that can be put in here. Several answers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it says three other students' responses will show up. It looks like it's going to uh, plot those points, and so talk about what a solution is. Mm -hmm. So that's very nice. Which one was that one? This one was under, let's see, let me close that. System of two linear equations. System of two linear equations. So, so linear I systems? was under linear systems, mm -hmm. the activities, it was activity two. Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah, so and two number two. one. Okay, so and I just I just looked at that and uh, and I just I like that 
that's something that I do that I've done in class before and it really makes a difference for the kids but I like that it's in this kind of a version it, it, it's more collaborative mm -hmm. and so you may get a, a better variety of answers mm -hmm. and that way they're all looking at the same thing that's I like that the, the other one the other website I was looking at is one the one that says learn that's what that com. uh-huh what that one does is like if you're not sure how to use the graphing calculator they, they have some tutorials on how to for example how to do linear regression or quadratic regression and it, it, even derivatives so nice. it, it gets pretty high tech up there um, how to do functions as tables graphing there's even some statistics as well so you can click on whatever you're interested on and they have <coughs> the tutorials and they kind of guide you how to how to use their their, their program what is it called? Decimals.com? Decimals.com. Oh, yeah, this one is the learndecimals.com where you can find tutorials on how to use their program. And then what, what you can do with this is um, in the classroom, for example, let's say you're doing transformations, you can give the students a series of functions. Um, and have them explore it. Have them explore what are the differences or what are the similarities between the functions that you provided them so that they can by themselves explore the different transformations uh, as they are, the translations and reflections and stuff like that. So, for example, you can work with um, uh, cubic quadratic, I mean, quadratic functions. You can start it off with x squared. And then you can give them several different functions with x squared. Thinking, um, could you, you know, just have them make up their own? Make up their own as well, yes. Or you can even add sliders to it. So you can add a slider for the um, vertical translation, I mean, for the trans the vertical stretch and vertical string, then the horizontal translations, and then the vertical translation. How did you add the sliders? You just add the variable A, H and K, and then it, this w uh, window will come up with I add So it already knows, the, it, uh. it already has those designated? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can have students play around with what happens if k goes to the positive direction? They can see. Does that do that? Those sliders do they pop up with uh, different variables or just particular? You know, with different variables. I've tried letter D, S, H, and it works fine. Mm -hmm. As long as you write down there, do you, you want to add as They represent a constants. A constants, yeah. Okay. So you can see how it moves left to right. Mm -hmm. This one affects the. Even translation, reflection. Okay, next. So, I don't know. You get better at this uh, the more you do it, and the more you explore it, and the more you play with it. So, is there is this something that you think that's that you could use in class? Oh, definitely. Um, I I played around with decimals a little bit, but they added a bunch of stuff since I've used it, mm -hmm. and so. You know, I, I like, I like, I love those sliders. You know, how they could just go in there um, and just play with it. Because that's one of the things that our students, I think, don't really get to do is, is, is explore, you know, what is happening. And I like that rather than just like, okay, well, if you add this, this happens. I, I'd rather say, hey, what happens when you add this mm -hmm. or subtract? What do you notice? What do you see? And, and have them, you know, gain an understanding that way rather than me always like telling them. So yeah, definitely I'm looking at all that. There's so much more now. Yeah, there's so much. Yeah, there is so much in there. Yeah, I think this is definitely something I'm gonna be looking more into.
even when you go to the home page you, you go down here and you look at all these kind of designs that they have created it's like it's amazing i would like to know how to how to do something like that but <laughs> just don't have time <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is really interesting the other website now, this is free right this is free yes yeah <laughs> Can Academy is the other one um, that is free, and that I have I've heard that Mr. Pimentel he strongly encourages students to have this app in their in their in their device because this is applicable for any subject. They have tons of tons of thousands of video clips and information out there uh, related to any specifically any field, and even engineering. There's there's some engineering stuff in there. Um, history, you name it, sciences, and math, and all the, the math subjects as well. Um, if you could please go ahead and look for canacademy.org. Oh, and they also have um, PSAT, SAT samples and questions. That's something that Mr. Primitive would like to see more often on a, on a weekly basis, that we practice as a, mm -hmm. maybe as a warm up. Get, get the students ready for the PSAT or the SAT. <laughs> so this is web-based and it also app-based. They, they they, it's available as an app as well. And you can create an account. Pretty simple, you just create an account, a username and a password. Um, if you go to subjects, you can see all the subjects that they provide. They have even early math, they have all the grade levels, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, statistics, calculus, differential equations. Um, there's information on sciences, physics, chemistry, biology. Um, on the arts, they have music, art history, grammar, economics, I know that yeah, they do have history, U.S. history, world history, and the SAT. I think that's pretty powerful. This one, and what they're doing is that when students log into it, they can submit if they already tried the SAT before, and they already have scores for it. They can submit their scores from College Board to this program, Khan Academy, and and kind of guides them through a study session. Oh. So get them ready on whatever the area they need they need to, to improve it and okay. practice on it. Yeah. So it's very, very, very powerful. Uh, if they don't have scores, they can take a first diagnosis quiz, kind of tell them where they are, and get them to practice on whatever on those skills that they need to practice on. Um, let me see if there's some examples. And it looks like they have some nice tutorials on getting ready for college. Yes. They have, they have not very really nice tutorials. What were you looking for? I was trying to look for examples of ACT questions. Oh. But I think it, it works better on the app. Mm -hmm. I like the app. Uh, the app. Yeah. Do you have, have yeah. access to the app? Mm -hmm. yeah. I have it on there already. Can I look at it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the app gives you something like this that you can click on it. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, solving linear equations and linear inequalities, basic examples. So it comes up as a video clip, but you can project this on your class and have them practice maybe one or two problems per day mm -hmm. or if for every day is too much then you can narrow it down a few days a week and this gets them ready for for the sat um a lot of our students they they don't get ready for the sat to be honest mm -hmm. they, they tend to leave it until the last minute and 
study the week before. Teenagers? Yeah. No. <laughs> so if we can make this a habit into our classroom, that's a plus. Well, it could be a warm-up, actually. Warm -up. Yeah. Just it could so, be a warm-up, you know, yeah. Let's this get on to Khan and do some SAT uh, yeah, five minutes. Academy, so this is Khan Academy. Like creating your first class, taking that numerical class, which is 21 